Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. And as you can tell, we are in my dining room and we are going to do a haul. Now I haven't done a haul in a while because many of you just love seeing what's in the stores and what's on the shelves. This past weekend, Roger and I participated in Goodwill's Friends and Family 50% off sale. And on the table before me are some of the items that I wasn't able to film, but I did want to show you. So grab yourself something to drink. It's a haul video. So I don't have a Bluetooth mic in the house and the wire is not going to stretch to the phone. So hopefully you can hear me. I am filming on my iPhone. This is the 14 Pro Plus or Max Plus or something like that. So it's going to be a little bit different footage wise than the GoPro, but we're just going to get through it. We're going to see what I found. Now, right out of the gate, I wanted to talk about this item. This item was an item that I think I did film, but I wound up not picking it up at full price. I I wound up getting this at 50% off. There were two of these. It is a handmade woven basket, very long. And the minute I saw it, I said, is this to keep toilet tissue in? Like, what is this used for? I've never seen a basket this size and shape. So that is what it looks like right away. I knew it was very well made, just beautiful. The price on the tag says $6.99. So just know that pretty much everything on the table I paid half price for. So $3.50, but the best part is it is artist signed. So the person that made this signed it on the bottom. I love when I find a basket and the artist's um, signature is there. Sometimes the date is there, that's even better. This one says Jonas Gingrich. So great job, Jonas. I love the basket. Now I have found baskets this long. They were a little bit different shaped. They were more narrow towards the bottom. I think those are usually used as a floral bouquet holder for a doorknob. That's just a guess, but I'm pretty sure this is for the bathroom. Leave a comment down below if you know what original use this basket was made for if it wasn't for holding toilet tissue, but that's what I'm going to advertise it for. Most of the bigger items are going to be in the booth. This one um, I'm thinking might be in the booth also because the eBay fees are greater for shipping for items that are longer. So I will measure it and then make the uh, decision of what platform I'm putting it on. But for $3.50, a handmade basket, I can't imagine how long this took to make. Now there was another one right next to it. It had a little bit different of a color pattern. I just chose the plain one. And um, yeah, I thought this was a great find. This next item, the minute I saw it, I did the whole song, please don't be chipped, please don't be chipped. I don't know why, but sometimes when I see an item and I just fall in love with it, that goes through my mind right away. Oh, please don't be broken. I see so many broken items in the thrift stores and it just breaks my heart. I don't know if they're broken when they're donated. I don't think so. So when I found him, look at this pig. <laughs> Let's all say it together. Do we love a good pig? Yes, we do. He is probably one of the best pigs I have ever found. Adorable. He's got a little necklace on and the necklace is of a rabbit. It's a rabbit charm. So I don't know if this is his original necklace or if he took it from somebody. Okay, $3.99, so I paid $2. I will try not to keep saying the price. You'll be like, we know, 50% off. But look how good he is. I don't see any damage. He's just a figurine. I'm gonna come closer so you can see his little necklace. The sun might be killing the shot, but that's what his charm necklace looks like. One of the things that I love about this pig is the color. Whoever painted him did a gorgeous job. So I was super thrilled that not only is he a beautiful color, but that he had no chips or cracks. 
I'm just realizing we have quite a few animals on the table. So I do also have a rack of clothing. I don't know we're gonna have time for that in this video, but I will show the clothing that I found um, probably in the next video or the video after, because I know a lot of my posh sellers are out there saying, hey, Karen, show clothing. Tell us what you're selling clothing-wise, what brands. And I did press in and pick up a lot of clothing at the 50% off. But we're gonna keep going with what's on the table. These are all hard goods. And like I said, a lot of it is animals. So we're going right to the next one. This is a cat that Roger actually gave me. Look at this kitty. I have never seen a cat like, look at the pose, look at the prance. He is adorable. His eyes are like tiger's eyes. Tiger eyes, I always forget if there's an S or not. Curved tail, he's a hard one not to keep. And I've already taken off his sticker. I think I paid $2. Look at that face. I think he's made out of, yeah, he's made out of ceramic. Just beautiful. I don't know if this is a famous kitty or what, but I said, oh yeah, I want him, definitely. Speaking about kitties, look at this statue. Figurine, wonderful character cat. <laughs> I absolutely love the way his tail is curled in like a spiral and he's got a little bird sitting on his tail. Look at that, can you see that? Okay, so this one is artist sign. I need my glasses. Let me get my glasses on so I can read it for you. O-E Smithson, S-M-I-T-H-S-O-N. And it's a copyright signature. So I paid $2 for him. And I think he's going to be good. I haven't looked any of this up yet, but really nice and collectible. I love the expression on the face. He almost is anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic. I forget how to say that word too. Human-like qualities. Look at the face. So I said yes to him. All right, what else do we have? We have an owl. Let's take a look at an owl. Okay, this is genuine wood. I, don't, I can't imagine this is all hand carved. Is it signed? I don't see a signature. He's a wall hanging. He has a sawtooth hanger on him. $4 was the original price, so I paid $2. Really got a lot of animals. I think these are fantastic. Owl collectors are very strong on eBay, so I know he'll get a lot of attention. I have a baggie of figurines. <laughs> now in this baggie, there are some brass rabbits. And when I saw the brass rabbits, I said right there alone, it's worth $2. So I haven't really looked at who else is in the bag. Let's open up the bag and see who is in here. I'm gonna move a few things to the side. My table is quite crowded with stuff. All right, so first I'm gonna take out the breast rabbits so you can see them. And I feel like I've sold these rabbits before. So here they are here, perfect timing for Easter. So here is the first one in a sitting position. And this one's more like perched on his back legs. I don't see any mark on them. I think these are quite common. Oh, there is a sticker made in Korea, which is surprising. Most times the breast I find is made in India. But this little set alone is worth definitely picking up for $2. And we've got the rest of the baggie. So very excited for this find. Okay, next up we have a Dalmatian dog and home interiors. Very cute. I don't see any breakage and he is just made out of like a plastic resin. The next one up is a kitty with blue jeweled eyes. No marking on him, a lot of dust, so I think he's older. Okay, so four pieces so far. We have a bear, oh, he's very unique. This is a very good bag of mixed. I think he's plastic, but he has like a, uh, a wood grain look to him. I think it's supposed to be that he looks like a wood figurine. So there he is. 
<laughs> the dust is just flying everywhere. Okay, who else do we have? Oh, okay, is this a groundhog? A squirrel? I don't know. Again, plastic, so this animal I think is in the collection or from the brand that the bear is from. They're very similar. They have like that wood grain um, painted look. We're gonna put the bear up there. So there he is, really cute. Let's see if there are any more like that in the bag. No, we have a few others. We have a pair of white kitties. These are Farrar, Farrar, F-A-R-R-A-H. Farrah International. They don't look like they're really high quality, but just a pair of kitties. So we got them. Okay, it looks like a white dog, maybe a husky. And this one actually has a sticker on the bottom like somebody had him in a booth or something. And Kathy Wise, 19, oh, where's my glasses? I lost my glasses already. <laughs> Here they are. All right, let's see what this sticker says. 1996 Kathy Wise, uh, Anesco. So this is from the Anesco company. I don't see any damage. Just look like a mama dog with a bunch of little pups. And a bear. It's probably like a Boyd's bear or something like that. And no marking. So the value in this bag, I think, are probably the brass bunnies, the first that I showed you, the reason I took the bag. I'm going to guess I'll probably get, I don't know, 25 for them for the pair, something like that. And who else? This kitty might have some value. I'm not quite sure about it. Not a lot of value. Probably, I don't know, $8. So great find for $2. This next item, I'm not quite sure what I have. And I did not get this at the 50% of friends and family. I think Roger and I stopped at the Goodwill outlet one day after shopping uh, friends and family. And we just went through the bins just for fun. Sometimes if we're in the area, we just go there to dig a little bit. So I'm gonna bring this over. I have never seen this. It is a brass candle holder. So the candle goes in there. That's quite big. I'm gonna say that's probably four or five inches across where the candle fits. And then the shade fits on top. And I believe this flickers. I haven't tried it. So reindeer and stars. Again, I've never seen this before. And I thought, boy, is that unique. Now, altogether, my outlet or bins uh, bill came to $6 that day, and I got like 15 pieces. So figure less than 50 cents I paid for this and made in India. I've never seen this, and I thought, oh, somebody's really going to want this. I was kind of hoping it had a Halloween theme on it, like witches and cats. That would have been spectacular. But I'll take reindeer and stars also. Okay, so I switched the table over this way because I felt like I was reaching over the table too much and I do want to show you detail on the next few items. So this item was an item that you guys said I had missed and sure enough, when I went back at 50% off, she was on the shelf. So I did get her, thank you so much. This is a handkerchief woman or a handkerchief, what do we call her, statue. So you set her on the table and she either has handkerchiefs that get tucked in these slots or you use her like at a luncheon, a ladies luncheon, and you can put um, napkins there and it creates ruffles on her skirt. I have sold these before and when I was shopping, I just didn't see her with all the stuff that was on the shelf and I paid $2 for her. So I was really glad that I had missed her the first time and I got her half price. But these are great fun. I don't think they bring a lot of money. This one is just like a mold that somebody paints. Sometimes you find these and the dresses are decorated. You know, it's more um, detailed. This one is just in all white, which I kind of like. And um, it's signed FG. So I guess FG painted it white. You're not going to be able to see that, I don't think. And like I said, I paid $2 for her. So that was a great find.
I did pick up a couple of pieces of artwork. I have been slowing down a little bit on artwork because the walls in the booth are filled right now. And I will keep a couple of pieces back in the house. So that's why I picked both of these up. This first one, I love this aesthetic. This is a paint by numbers, I believe. I'm gonna tilt it because it does have glass on it and I'm standing in front of my big window. But isn't this beautiful? I love this. Just a swan. I really like this stenciled look design. Sometimes when you get paint by numbers, they kind of lose the stenciled look. That's what I call it. But um, this one definitely is like that. And um, $1.99. So I got this for $1. Whoop. There we go. For a dollar. Can't beat that. Do we love a dollar item? Yes, we do. I'm thinking this one's probably going to sell for, I'm going to guess about 18 and I'll put it in the booth on the wall. This next item I think is a print. It's a copy of a photograph, but I thought this was spectacular. Hoping the light doesn't kill this. Look at that shot. Now the artist information is on the back of this. So I was thrilled to find that. And it says he roams the seas in freedom with no enemies save man. And I just love this. I think it is amazing that this photographer caught this shot I guess he was in a boat. I hope he was in a boat. Could you imagine being this close to this whale? Now he could have zoomed in, but just spectacular. I would love to go whale watching one day. Roger and I did get to go dolphin watching. We were like two little kids. We were like, oh my gosh, look. <laughs> so whale watching would be amazing. All right, let's turn it over. This is the Freelance Collection, a distinct art, fine art photography and the photographer tom bean b-e-a-n and it talks a little bit about his life and his work 3.99 so i got it for two dollars and um just beautiful i love the way this is framed too it's framed so it sits off of the wall in other words this has got a little bit of a clearance here so it doesn't sit flat on the wall and i think it's just stunning here is a bowl that I found really interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen this before. So it's a bowl that almost looks like it's made out of fossilized material. And I don't know if it's contrived, if they just take like some sort of agate and crush it and put it into like, how could I say this, into a liquid slip and then pour it into a mold. In other words, I have no idea what I have here. $1.99, so I paid a dollar for the bowl, and I think this is beautiful. I was kind of hoping it would have been bigger, but I'll take a small one. Let me get out of the shot. So I really don't see any um, fossiled creatures of any kind, but there are seashells, like a nautilus, like curlicue. So, I'm gonna do some research on this piece just so I can understand what this is, how this is made. But for a dollar, I might even keep this one. I like it that much, just beautiful. I know, shocker, I do keep some things. So sometimes the things I find I'll keep for a while in my personal collection, like on my living room shelves, and then I'll sell it. There are a few pieces I have kept permanently. And um, I think I've showed them to you before, far and few between, but this is beautiful. So this is probably one I'm going to keep for a while and then I'll sell it. So as I'm talking and showing you guys things, I've realized there's a couple of things in the room that are not going to be for sale. And this is one of them, at least not for sale yet. Might be one of the things we sell eventually. I don't know if I officially showed this to you guys. This is a rabbit that Roger brought home. And he bought it for me to sell. He said, oh, I got you a rabbit. I'm like, you did. And then he pulled this from behind his back and I was like, oh, give me that. I love him. So surprisingly, his Goodwill sticker is pulled off. He's like a deep green color and I keep him on our dining room table now that we have an official dining room. When Roger met me, I was so grateful that he was a reseller too and his house looked like mine. Because if I had dated and planned to marry a man that didn't understand, you know, YouTubing and reselling, 
there would be a lot of explaining to do. But when Roger came over and he saw my house, I think it was comforting to him too because we have inventory everywhere. Like right now, you can see my dining room chairs are just pulled back, you know, away from the table so I can use the table for this hall. And the chairs are quite new. They're not brand new, but they're new to us. In the beginning, we didn't even have a dining room table um, per se, and we had folding chairs. So now that we have an official dining room, we do eat at it quite a bit. It's nice for us to have dinner after a long day of thrifting and um, have a beautiful centerpiece on the middle of the table. So he sits amongst some greenery. I kept out some of the Christmas greenery and um, I just love him. I wanted to show him to you guys. I think he's really beautiful and well done. Okay, and over on the sideboard behind me, if you guys can see this, I have a lot of Valentine's Day things for the booth. None of it is really spectacular. I bought a fondue pot. I bought some red vases. I bought a big red umbrella. I thought, oh, that would be fun, hanging that from the ceiling. I don't know if I'm going to be able to accomplish that in the booth, but we're going to give that a go. What else do I have back there? Just some single mugs and a few little pieces. So that's what you're seeing back there. That's not part of today's haul. But I know you guys, my followers are on it. You guys are a bunch of sleuths, detectives. You will see the littlest thing in a thrift store and you'll be like, hey, did you see the thing five aisles away? You guys are great. So I figured I would make mention of that because I know somebody's going to call that out. All right, let's keep going with what's on the table. The next item is a tray, a serving tray. The sun is starting to come in. It is beautiful here in Pennsylvania. The snow is melting, but it just makes for such beautiful lighting. So this is the rattan tray with a bamboo edging. And I thought this was really nice. Definitely vintage. I paid $2 for it. And I wonder if the same company that makes the um, the typical bamboo trays that we've all sold before, I wonder if it's that type of company making this. I've never seen this before. But I thought this would be really nice on a dresser with some perfumes and bottles or even with plants on it and maybe little statues. You know what would look really cute on this? Those brass rabbits with like a little Easter um, thing going on, vignette. <laughs> so I said yes to this for $2. And then switching gears because this is not boho. I picked up two Hollywood Regency wall sconces. Let me see if I can get the tape off. This gold is gold. It is a very bright gold. I'm going to get a scissor and cut this apart so we can take a look at them. Okay, so I got them cut apart and this is what they look like. Hollywood Regency is still very sought after. I do very well with that decor trend. When I find items like this that are just over the top beautiful, I don't even have to think about it. There's no talk in my head. I just take them from the shelf and put them in my cart, on the shelf, in my cart, always. $4.99 for the two. So that's $2.50 for the two, $1.25 a piece. So for those of you who are not familiar with Goodwill's friends and family, I believe it's only once a year that they give out coupons mostly to employees, but a lot of times the employees are given multiple coupons. I don't know how many they get. I'm going to guess about five, and Roger and I wound up being offered quite a few coupons. We only took one each because it's good for the whole sale, and it's reusable. They don't take your coupon away, which is great. So we wound up shopping 12 hours on Friday, 12 hours on Saturday, and then I think Sunday we went out for a little while. Um, I came home, I was exhausted, and Roger continued on for a little while more. We did really well. He did phenomenally well. His stuff is great. I will try to include some screenshots, but I'm sure you can go into his store to see. Um, you can sort by new listings and you can see, you can sleuth and see what he picked up. His store name is always listed in the show's notes below. So when you look at this video right underneath the title, it'll say see more. And when you hit that little arrow or the see more, um, it'll open up a whole box. For those of you new to YouTube who don't know where all of the information, that's where I tell you what stores I'm shopping in, um, my daughter's channel, my channel, all the information 
option you want. But Roger got some great stuff. All right, back to the Hollywood Regency. What will I get for these? I'm thinking at least 30. They're gorgeous. This pair is really, really beautiful. And I have been putting a few sconces in the booth, but these I'm going to sell on eBay because they're easy to ship. I think these might be made out of wood. I'm not quite sure, guys. No, I think it's I think it's like a Sirocco, like a faux wood, but um, I love this gold. So beautiful. All right, I grabbed a few more things. One thing was on the floor, and a couple were mixed in with the Valentine stuff. There's stuff all over the house. Sometimes, truth be told, I have to just take a couple of hours and get some organization up here because it's just living amongst all of the treasure is fun but sometimes it's like okay i don't want to look at this stuff anymore the next item we came into one of the stores i'm trying to think which store this was this was shillington no this wasn't shillington this was montgomeryville i don't know where we were roger was driving a wicker table the minute i got in the door and what was this mark? Oh, here's the tag right here. Seven dollars. So I paid three dollars and fifty cents for this. Look at this table. Beautifully made. It has a glass top. I think the employees tied it with shoestrings, thankfully, so it didn't get broken. And this was just sitting there. Like the minute I came in the door, I got a cart and I was like, does that belong to somebody? I will sell. Who doesn't want a wicker table for $3.50? Can you tell I'm very excited about my little wicker table? So I think I'm going to be selling this either at the booth or Facebook Marketplace. And um, yeah, really, really great. I'm just looking at it. It does have a little opening there. But that might be missing. Let's put that down and take a closer look at that. Might as well think about it while I'm looking at it. A few of the little pieces are broken, but I think generally this is in very good shape. $3.50. All right, we're going to do a few more hard goods, and I think that's going to end this part of the haul. I will have to do clothing at another time, probably the next video. Okay, so this is going to be tomorrow's video Wednesday. I will try to throw in some clothing on Sunday if I'm able to. I will try. All right, next item up was this rabbit. Pretty sure he's vintage. Look how cute this is. I bought this for the booth for, for um, I was gonna say for Valentine's Day, for Easter. Yes, rabbits are for Easter. And it doesn't say, oh, it does say something on the bottom. What does that say? I have no idea. It is signed Jordan somebody and Atlantic Mold Company. Super cute, great job painting it. And I love the way he's winking. I think that is adorable. All right, did I say I paid $2? Here is a question I want the answer to. Is anybody making tea and serving them in these ceramic pots? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. So this is an Easter one, a bunny with a butterfly on top of her head. And this is somebody, oh, I'm gonna have to take off her head. Sorry, buddy, to be able to tell what she says. It says Tammany Divine 2000. That looks like Tammany, T-A-M-M-A-N-Y, Divine. You know what, let me close these curtains. That might help a little bit. I have the curtains open because it's so beautiful. I don't know that these little shears are gonna help anything, but we will see. Okay, did that help? Probably not. <laughs> let me get out of the shot. But um, yeah, I didn't see any chips and cracks. I could be missing it. That, that very well could be. There she is, and I paid $3.50 for her. All right, we have four more things on the table, and I think that's it for today. I did find a genuine coach bag. I'm thinking this one might be vintage. It's looking a little brighter on screen than it is in real life. In real life, it's deeper red. Beautiful. Um, all of the hardware is marked, properly marked. It has the Creed inside. I don't know what style this is. There is the leather Creed, beautifully clean. And like I said, all of the, even the zipper, the zipper tab, the top part of it says Coach, and, um, and it's real leather. All the seams match up, just beautiful quality. And what did I pay for this? I paid... They wanted $8, I paid four. So that was a great score. 
I don't sell a lot of handbags on eBay only because there were a couple of times where I was convinced the handbag was real and I didn't want to take time to send it into the real real and then I kind of questioned myself and pulled the handbag off of eBay because I don't want my eBay account to ever get hurt for selling fakes because if you get notified from eBay that you're selling fake items that can have very serious consequences they can suspend your whole account and you'll have no account and you can't just open up another store they have your ISP address and your bank information so they know it's you so for me it's better to sell locally Facebook marketplace now I never sell fakes. I don't believe in selling fake products. Um, so I have to be really sure that the item is genuine. But again, I don't take a chance with my eBay store because it's my main, it's my bread and butter. It's the way I pay my bills. But this bag is gorgeous. And um, I'm sure the buyer is gonna be very happy. This next piece, I grabbed Lickety Split. That's how it's called, Lickety Split. <laughs> it is like a little, it's very heavy, salesman sample of a dresser. This thing is solid through and through. Now it does have a little bit of um, scratching on it. Looks like the original knobs to it. I'm gonna pull out a drawer. Okay, so what does this say? It looks like it might be in another language or it's initials. It looks like N-U-D and the U has a single dot above it. So all handmade. Beautiful construction. I guess you could use it as a jewel box, but the drawers aren't lined in any way. Most times there's some things like a trinket box and, and it's originally made out of wood or a jewelry box. The drawers will be lined with either felt or velvet to protect your jewels. But this one I think is a salesman sample. It says something right on it. I hadn't seen this. Made by Clarence. Oh, Clarence, you have a funny last name. I-T-N-E-Y-E-R, Itnayer. Clarence Itnayer made this. Oh, I'm so happy I found this. And it gives his address, 1600 Jefferson Boulevard, Hagerstown, Maryland. <laughs> I'm gonna show that to you. This is what I'm always talking about. Everything I buy should have the information on it, and here it is. This is a dream. So now I get to look up what else he has made and um, see if he has a website or how he sells and what period they were sold in. So I love finding information about the items. And um, yeah, I'm thinking it's a salesman sample, but it could be that it was just a miniature for, you know, keeping something in it. Oh, another stamp on it. I'm not sure what that says. Something Richards. Yeah, it's kind of blurry. I think it says something Pennsylvania, but all right. So I paid $2.50 for it, and I have no idea what it's gonna bring. This will probably sell in the booth again because it's very heavy. To ship it, the shipping would be so cost prohibitive. I know for those of you who don't sell, sometimes you wonder why I don't put something on eBay rather than selling it locally, and it's to save my buyer the angst of the shipping because like, if something is very oversized or very big, you would be shocked at what it costs to ship. Like recently, Roger sold his Odagiri dishes and the buyer, I believe, I hope this is okay to say, paid $200 and she wasn't that far from us um, to have the dishes shipped, um, UPS. Now that was where Roger brought them to UPS and they packed them, so it was a special service. But even just packing, you know, having the seller pack the item and shipping it, shipping costs are very expensive for anything oversized or um, anything very heavy. So this I'm probably going to put in the booth. I might try it on Facebook Marketplace. I'll have to see. I feel like I've never sold one of these and I've seen them quite often. It is a ceramic woven bread basket. This is what it looks like. And I did get it for $2. I bought it during the sale. And I thought to myself, oh, who makes those? Because these can bring like $35. And I don't know what name I'm looking for. So I did look up just ceramic woven bread basket. And a lot of them came up. It seemed like you didn't have to buy one brand. Now this one is not marked. I didn't find any name on it. But I looked at the quality of how it was done, the weight of it, and the color of it is beautiful. 
So I went ahead and grabbed this for $2. Leave a comment down below if you have sold these or if you own one of these. I guess it could also be a fruit basket for a dining room table, you know, like a centerpiece. But uh, for $2, I was thrilled to find it. The last item I think we all get excited to find are the Lucite Gold Flecked Candles, the taper candles. And unfortunately, I only found the one, but I thought it was just so cool sitting in this um, carved bird wall sconce. This must be beautiful to have two of them, but I'll take one. I was very happy to find one, $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for the candle and the candle holder. So this is what the candle looks like. Um, handcrafted in USA, do not ignite. These are not for burning. They're just for the look of it. And I think this one is Lucite. Seeing if it has DH Lindenberg Company Incorporated. I don't know what that says after it. Slow, Solvang, California, could be. But um, I have never found a peach one. So I thought this one was really special. And if I would have found two, I'm guessing I would have brought probably $25 to $30 for the two. But um, those are very cool. They're vintage. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. I figured I'd mix it up a lot since we've been doing a lot of shopping together. And um, I thought it'd be good just to do a haul and show you some of the things I didn't get to show you. And like I said, I will try to throw some clothing into a haul soon. Not many of you want to see clothing. That's why I'm really trying to make the videos that you guys show up for, that you guys watch. And those are always the thrifting videos. You want thrifting more than any other a thing that I do. Even yard sales or flea markets or auctions, um, those videos are not as popular as when I just bring you to the store and show you the shelves. So that is what that's about. That's why I've really been pressing into them. My YouTube uh, money finished very high this year. So I am super appreciative. Thank you to all of you. I don't really give numbers because I would never want anybody to feel really bad about talking numbers. Um, but YouTube can support me now and um, YouTube surpassed eBay, which is just crazy to think about. So my eBay income is still the income I used to pay all my bills and I do bank my YouTube for retirement for future years. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button and as always, go out and get what's yours. Good morning, everyone. Welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. We're going to pull some shipping together. These will be the solds, I think, from yesterday to today. Today is Tuesday, January 23rd. <laughs> I think that's right. All right, we're going to get right into it. I'm not going to chit chat a lot through this. This is just going to be a fast and furious pulling shipping because my postal carrier is on the way. All right, so the first item up is the Leah Sophia that I picked up. Up. this is a necklace where did I get this I don't even remember okay so it is the genuine mother of pearl chain necklace and I'm gonna have to go into this to see what things sold for so I can give you that information the necklace sold for $14 beautiful it's like a chain link like little circles together and I couldn't tell you what I paid for this, a couple of dollars. Just know that I very rarely pay up for something, and when I do, I will be sure to tell you. $14 the Leah Sophia brought. All right, we're gonna start at the beginning. This is the Thinker. They are casted metal bookends, $24. I've had them probably for about maybe a month now, and here they are here, quite famous. A lot of bookends here, felted bottoms. And we all know the story with felted bottoms. A lot of times I can tell the age of something, not the exact year, but pretty close to the time period for these by the felt. All right, so we got $24 for them. They are going out. Next stop are four metal rabbit napkin rings. I don't even know if these are downstairs yet. I listed them mm, the other day. It's not them. Up, oh, this might be them here. I keep all my little bags of items. So let's bring these into the light. Just four of them. I think they might be pewter. I wasn't sure. No markings on them. And like I said, they sold for $15. Okay, the next item to be pulled, a pair of women's Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo uh, flats. So they're gonna be here under flats and Oxfords. 
I don't pick up a lot of the older style. Here they are here. Uh, Ferragamos. Now, if you find current items, you know, more trending, I should say, a current style, um, absolutely, yes. But Salvatore Ferragamos women's shoes are not really a fast seller for me. $19.99. These are a patent leather, and they are very narrow. So what size is this? Seven and a half double A. Very narrow, but $19.99, still a great sale. The next item up is a Calvin Klein puffer jacket, $40, size medium. It's in a black, it's quilted. So that is going to be in this row here, jackets. And you guys know the routine. I separate by size and color and type of item. So blacks and darks, jackets medium. It's gonna be in here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. There we go. <laughs> All right, Eileen Fisher. Oh, this might be it right here. Calvin Klein, medium coat. All right, so this one sold for $40. A lot of times I'm paying about $7 for coats, but most times I buy coats during a 50% off sale. That way I get a coat for about $3.50, $4, something like that. And this one sold through for $40. The same buyer bought another coat, so I'm going to be shipping them out together. And I think that jacket is on this rack. Okay, here it is here. Eddie Bauer. This is like a Weather Edge 365, it's called. And it is a blue and gray, really nice jacket. Okay, and that one brought $23. So I will combine this and refund any overage that the buyer paid once I uh, print the label. The next item are eight vintage color clings. I believe I picked these up in Goodwill and it was a large lot and I separated them out um, by holidays. So the Valentine's and the St. Patty's went together, $32. Now most likely I'm gonna have put those in ephemera so I'm going to look down this way. I have just switched this around again. So we are going to look in ephemera. Most of my ephemera are like magazines or different um, certificates, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. If it's not in here, it will be in odd items. And right after I said that, I looked up. <laughs> here they are here because they're oversized. So I'm going to bring those down and we'll take a look at those. I remember these when my kids were younger. My kids loved sticking these on the windows. The front windows of the house would be covered in these things. They enjoyed it so much being able to decorate. So this is what this looks like. Eight sheets of them. Look at that graphic. If that doesn't say vintage, I don't know what does. These are made in the USA. Great fun. All right, so $32. Most likely, I will just put sheets of cardboard on either side and put them into a large poly mailer. That will keep them in great shape. And $32, I'm going to guess I paid a dollar or two. And the last two items that I'm going to ship out today are Target's A New Day Sleeveless Top with a pom-pom trim. Uh, this sold for $16, and I pulled this from the women's extra-large bin. And Ann Taylor 12 Petite Dress Pants. I've altogether stopped picking up women's jeans and pants, still trying to pare down this category. And at the very end, I will probably sell lots of the items. And what did these sell for? They sold for $16. So you got to love clothing. Super easy to ship out. So if you are looking to get into reselling, I feel that there's more work up front with clothing, you know, the cleaning or steaming or whatever. And, um, but the shipping out is so much easier, whereas hard goods, in my opinion, is easier just to wipe it down and, and check it or whatever, photograph it, much easier. But then the shipping out <laughs> is a whole thing. Lots of boxes and packing stuff. All right. Sorry to have rushed through this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Go out and get what's yours.